just in. Elon Musk wants to take Dogecoin to the moon. Literally. But before that, thanks everybody for stopping by. This is episode number two of Crypto Tech News, where I talk crypto and tech in the news. This week, we have a variety of flavors in our menu, but first things first, we will start off with the Bitcoin and Ethereum update. Bitcoin today is toying at $58,000 USD, almost close to that $60,000 uh, all-time high that it was with last week, and uh, hopefully it can break through that $60,000 support level and we'll see some higher gains. Ethereum, on the other hand, smashed through $2,000 and has made its way to 2100 USD. This is pretty good for anybody mining Ethereum right now as our profits are surely increasing and any of you hodlers out there are also pretty happy. So, first on the menu today, uh, Elon Musk wants to take Dogecoin to the moon. Now, he posted a tweet on April 1st, so we can't actually tell if it's true or not, but he also put another post up saying he literally wanted to take it to the moon. Since this is all April 1st, it could have been a big joke knowing Elon Musk, who apparently is the king of internet memes and Dogecoin. Now, also, this is Elon Musk, and the man literally rocketed his own car into space. So who knows what he's capable of. If he brings Dogecoin to the moon, hopefully the price also goes there. So next up on the menu is Satoshi Nakamoto. Today is his alleged birthday, April 5th. Now, we don't know if this is Satoshi's actual birthday, but this is the birthday that he put down when he first talked about Bitcoin way, way back when. Uh, coincidentally enough, this date in history, April 5th, is the date that Franklin D. Roosevelt, 88 years today signed Executive Order 6102. Now this executive order in the United States banned the hoarding and keeping of gold in your possession. You could no longer physically hold these yellow shiny objects in your house, these rocks. You could no longer have them. So it kind of seems uh, coincidental that Satoshi chose his birthday as today the day where the government tells you you cannot own anything of value, essentially. So is this coincidence? I don't really think so. I think what he's trying to say is Bitcoin is, or is supposed to be, the digital asset that the government cannot just come and take away from you or willy-nilly ban. Now, if countries uh, ban Bitcoin as they have in the past, such as China and uh, India is trying to now, it's gonna be pretty hard. Bitcoin is decentralized and most cryptocurrencies are also. You cannot just take it down from one location, you have to take it down completely, which is pretty difficult considering the scale of the Bitcoin network and other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum. Next up on today's menu is PayPal. Now, PayPal launched recently their crypto pay services in the US, meaning you can use Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some other altcoins to pay for your purchases at different merchants. This is great for crypto adoption. If I wanna go buy a coffee and pay for it with Bitcoin, you can now do it through PayPal. We'll have to keep up on this development as PayPal rolls us out over the world, hopefully we will see adoption of cryptocurrencies increasing. This would increase the price of cryptocurrencies, helping the people who have held for a long time, but also potentially free people from their local currencies that can be hyperinflated by the government printing money and devalued or just completely taken away from them. Now that being said, MicroStrategies, a company that heavily invests in Bitcoin and has taken out many loans to purchase Bitcoin, has decided to acquire another $15 million worth of Bitcoin. This is, their, this is part of their buy and hold strategy as they think the US dollar will not collapse but definitely lose value compared to Bitcoin over the next couple of years. 
MicroStrategies over the past has taken out loans to purchase more and more Bitcoin. Now, personally, I do not advise you guys to purchase Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies with money that you do not own. MicroStrategies being a, co a public company can borrow money at pretty much free rates, especially today when the rates on interest are so, so low, they are going to be taking advantage of it as they do believe it will increase. Now, that being said, they're in a position where they can and they have good cash flow coming in that even if they did default, the business itself would still survive. This is something of an investment strategy for them so that hopefully their company over the long term can uh, explode in value. As of today, their Bitcoin holdings is $5.29 billion. This is the latest in their buying and holding strategy, and I'm sure more will come as time progresses. And to finish off today's episode of Crypto Tech News, we have a little bit of tech. Yesterday, LG announced that they will stop creating any new phones on their mobile phone business. This is, quote, going to enable the company to focus their resources in growth areas such as EVs, connected devices, smart homes, robotics, and AI. Now, essentially what that means is they no longer see mobile phones as a very profitable sector. So they are going to throw it by the wayside and move into something else like EVs and AI, which has seen massive booms in the past years especially with EVs and AI. Now, any phones currently out there on the market being created by LG will continue to be produced until their end of life cycle that has already been planned. And any phones that are out there already will continue to receive updates during their life cycle. Now, the usual life cycle for an Android LG phone is about one to two years. So if anybody out there does have an LG phone and you are looking for another one, unfortunately, you will not be able to get an LG phone. You will have to start looking at other options. And that wraps up today's episode of Crypto Tech News. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. If you guys made it all the way to the end, you are truly amazing. And I will catch you in the next video.